Suppose that we have the sequence of positive integer numbers in their binary representation, which have exactly eight ones, and these numbers are arranged in the increasing order. To answer the question of this problem, we must find the thousandth number in this sequence. Each digit one in the binary representation of the number is equal to power of two with exponent equal to the position of this digit minus one. For example, the binary number with ones in the position six, four, and three is equal to two raised in the fifth power plus two cubed plus two squared, which is equal to number 44 in the decimal representation. Suppose that this number is a member of the increasing sequence of binary numbers that have exactly three ones. Let's find the sequential number of this number in this sequence, hoping that this will give us the pattern that we can use in solving our problem. We can compare this counting process to running with hurdles, where the first hurdle is the place number six. Let's figure out the sequential number of the first binary number that jumps this hurdle. This is the number with ones in two lowest positions, one and two, and in the position number six. This sequential number is equal to the number of all triplets of ones in the lowest five places, one through five, before these numbers jump the hurdle of place number six. This number is equal to the number of combinations of 5 choose 3 plus 1. Now let's find the sequential number of a triplet of 1's that jumps the second hurdle in place number 4, when one digit 1 is already fixed in place number 6. For that, we need to add to the previous sequential number the number of pairs of 1's that fit in the first three places, 1 through 3, before it jumps the hurdle in place number 4. This is equal to the number of combinations of 3 choose 2. And finally, let's find out the sequential number of the first triplet of 1's that jumps the hurdle of place number 3. For that we need to add the number of combinations of 2 choose 1. And this gives us the sequential number of the binary number with 1's in places 6, 4, and 3. Now, armed with this discovered pattern, we can write a formula for the sequential number of a binary number with exactly m ones in the positions k1 through km in the sequence of all such numbers arranged in the increasing order. For m equals 8, this formula looks like this. To finish this problem, we need to find 8 integer numbers, k1 through ka, such that this formula yields the sequential number 1000. And after that, we'll calculate the decimal representation of the resulting binary number. We can find these numbers by using trial and error method. The number of combinations of 13 choose 8 plus 1 is greater than 1000. It means that the first 1000 members of our increasing sequence of binary numbers do not jump the hurdle in place number 14. Let's try the hurdle in place 13. That works. The number of combinations of 12 choose 8 plus 1 is equal to 496, which is less than 1000. The hurdle in place 12 works as well, because the number of combinations of 11 choose 7, when added to the previous total, gives us new total that is less than number 1000. Putting hurdle in place 11 doesn't work, because the number of combinations of 10 choose 6, after adding it to the previous total, yields the number that is greater than 1000. Then we need to try the number of combinations of 9 choose 6. That jumps the hurdle in place 10. If we continue this process of trials and errors, 
we will determine the remaining places of digits 1 in the 1000th member of our sequence. These places are 9, 7, 6, 5 and 4. The binary number with ones in these places is equal to 7032. If we divide this number by 1000, the remainder is number 32.